Two big nugs. Two big nugs. <laughs> I don't want one that fits in there. Where is it? See, two big nugs. Where is it? There you go. Tim should bring out his, his, his gold. Wow. Look at that. Big giant nugs. No, a giant nug is one that won't fit in that bottle. That's a potato. Very nice. Yeah, that's a... Oh, very nice. Treated by the Fellows nice. Creek Camp in the, um, in the store over there. <laughs> very sweet. I think sometimes you need to slow down when you hit the damp material. Give it a chance to actually sit in the box for a bit so it has an opportunity to dry out. If the material is extremely wet, sometimes you even need to shovel the material onto a tarp, allow it to dry, and then feed it through the hopper. Or what some people do is they even rerun their material just to make absolutely sure they're capturing everything. Because when the material is damp, the gold has a tendency to stick to the material and then you don't get good concentration of the materials as they separate in the lower concentrator box. Much better now the technique. The top bleach you play. Yep. <laughs> well, there's quite a bit of black sand down in there too. Well, let's pan it out and see what we got. Alrighty. <laughs> let's go. Let me take it over from here. Okay, we're finally going to see what comes out of the Keen 151 dry washer. You can see we had a lot of guys shoveling into the machine. The machine's actually capable of handling quite a lot of material. And now we get down to the end result. We took the concentrates out of the unit, and now we have the board here, which, which has all the concentrates in it, which contains all of our black sand and gold of fenny, and a lot of the little caliche pebbles. Well, hey, let's pan some of it out and see what we can find. I d just dump it into the pan here. Sometimes it helps when you do it into a box. Okay, now we're going to pan out some of the rest of our concentrates here. Troy, would you like to give it a hand? Yeah. Well, hey, get on your knees and get down here, and I'll kind of just kind of walk you through the motion on how to do it. Troy's about 13 years old. He came out with his dad. But this type of activity is a great thing for the whole family to get involved in. Okay. 
why don't you sink the pan underwater and shake it back and forth. Just like that. Now as you shake it, try a little circular motion. And then kind of tilt the pan a bit. Okay? I'm just going to help you out a little bit until you get it all figured out. Now, you're going to dip the pan, just like so, and you're going to want to wash the larger rocks off. I'm going to help you get some of the larger material out, just so it makes the whole panning process a lot easier. And uh, Troy did quite a bit of shoveling, so if we find the gold, I think we're going to give it to him for his hard work. <laughs> wow, look at that. Is that a piece oh, yeah. there? That's a piece in the pan. Hey, go ahead. Shake it back down cool. and do what I just showed you. Nope, you got to get down the water. Like, just like that. And just kind of work some of the light material off the top. There you go. Look at that, like an expert. See, anyone can pan with a little bit of practice, and he's doing a damn good job. Look at that piece. All right. right. There's about three more, four more pieces in there, real small stuff. Let's see that thing. Whew. Way to go. Now you got to find a vial to put it in. Mm -hmm. A plastic one. <laughs> you don't break the, the glass, huh? Now there's some more gold in it. Yeah, just Come shake on. that down into here. And let's get rid of that black sand here real quick. Okay. Will that even fit in there? Like that? <laughs> Jeez, that's a pretty big piece. Does it go in? Is it too big? Yeah, it went in. It went in. Yeah. This is how I uh, this is how I get the black sands out real quick. I just slowly bleed it off. Once I get everything knocked to the bottom, I'm just paddling the water. Now watch to make sure no gold moves forward. Way to go. Way to go, buddy. Get the Pepsi bottle open. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fine gold in here. And pickers, obviously. Yep. Put a lot of movement in the pan when I try to pan those black sands down because I don't want to sweep it across the whole top. There you go. Look at that. Yep. yep a few pieces yep. went into the sand already on the bottom. All right. All Not right. too shabby there. Not bad at all. <coughs> and of course the lunker. The lunker. Wow. And look at that. It still has caliche clay stuck right to the nugget. Yep. Right on the bottom you can see the clay that when the clay was wet the gold stuck into it. That was and trapped beginner's it. luck. That's definitely beginner's luck. And that's what it's all about. Going out and having a great time, having a lot of fun, getting the whole time in the fall. Just enjoy the outdoors. Thank you for coming today. Bye bye. All right. All right. Hey. All right, Troy. Troy. Way to go, Troy. <laughs> Got a big one? Yeah. I can't believe All it. All right. Look at that thing. <laughs> You're rich. All yeah. right. You rich? Yeah. Let's see. Hold that up. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. That's huge. That looks like a couple penny weighter right there. What yep. are you going to do with all your money? I think you got to keep that gold, huh? Yeah. Yeah, in the treasure chest? Yeah. Yep. Wow.